Hi everyone, welcome. I want to show you how you can solve your first code chef challenge. Code chef challenges, uh, first of all, code chef is the same as uh, Hackerlang, Lead Code. Uh, this is a site where you can do coding challenge, coding practice. There are a lot of problems there, so it's where you can go practice for your, uh, maybe you're prepared for interviews or just to make yourself good in coding. These are ones of the sites that you can do challenges every day. So um, suppose you have already signed up into CodeChef and you are on the same page like this. You can go there to problems. So you can see a list of challenges. These challenges are uh, according to the levels which you are in. As you can see, here it tells you the difficult level. So all, all challenges which have difficult uh, level from zero to 1,000 are beginner level. Uh, you can see here is a difficult rate. So this is the rate of difficultness of each challenges. So all challenges which uh, have a rate from zero to 1,000, it's a beginner level. Intermediate starts from 1,000 and after. So let me tell you uh, how you can solve your first code chef challenge. Um, you can see this is a problem. Code name is age limit, name age limit submission. It is uh, like 16,225 submission. So it means there are um, like users who have been working on this uh, age limit challenges and they've submit, submitted like 16,000. So there are programmers like 16,200. 25. This is amazing. So, you, how to be one of these? You go to straight to submit arrow here. You click. If you click, it takes you to the problem description, problem statement. You can see a hedge limit, problem code, hedge limit, contest code. So there, add to my to do list. You can add this on your to do list. If calculating is too. Uh, 245, 245, so this is a beginner uh, level. So this is a rate for beginners, uh, it's, which is good. So you, to read, to read uh, efficient, you can just maximize problem statement and you can start the question. So this is one of the beginners, so it's simple. I'll show you how to do this. So it, the problem says, Chef wants to appear in a competitive exam. To take the exam, there are following requirements. Minimum age limit is X, and age should be greater than or equal to X. Age should be strictly less than Y. Chef's current age is A. Find whether he is currently eligible to take the exam or not. Input format, so there will be a first line which contains T, which is uh, which is the number of test case, then the test case follows. Each, each test case consists of single line of input containing three integers, okay? So there will be three integers, X, Y, and A, as I mentioned in the statement. Output format for each test case, output yes, if chef is eligible to a given exam, okay? This is great. So we're gonna be outputting Yes or no. Constraints, you can see constraints, uh, they've explained to you. Sample, for example, there will be uh, five test cases. Uh, this X and this is Y and this is A. So A is the age of a chief. So as the statement says, A should be greater than x, which is state one, and it's true. 
and also it is less than y, which is 34, uh, 34 uh, which is true, it fits the conditions, so you output yes. And if uh, for second test case, age is 31, x is 25, and y is 31. So this doesn't uh, fit the condition. So the explanation is there the age of chef is 30, his age satisfies the minimum age limit is 30. Oh, okay, yeah, is explained. So 30 is greater or equal to 21, as is true. Also, it's less than upper limit is 34. So this is good. So uh, I'll take you straight to how to solve it. So if we, we exit full screen, we get a place where we can do our codes here. And you can even maximize this. So what you're going to do is, first of all, we're going to read the number of test cases. Then we're going to loop going to loop through these test cases in order to compare them and so so uh, that's why in code chef you can see a lot of challenges which start with uh, which start with console read line if you are using c sharp okay okay so Uh, I'm looking for a way to let me load the page. Um, okay. Um, let me move. I mean, sorry, I have a problem with my PC. So, uh, okay, okay. Okay, so here is where we're going to be coding. Okay, so here is where we're gonna be coding. Our code should be here. So uh, uh, remember the face, we face, we're gonna first start with leading the number of test case, this is five. So to do that, we're gonna read this. Um, so I'm gonna doing this in, in C sharp, so we can start by saying T int T equal to int dot pass. Console dot read line. Or you can use int pass or convert to int 32, whatever you do to uh, convert string or character into your integer. So after reading the number of test case, then you can use for loop. int i which is zero i with t r plus so after reading the number of test case so we're gonna look through uh, within the number of t so it's five which means we're gonna look five times uh, to get to this test case in, in order to work on those test case so for example, to, to get this second line, you need to uh, create uh, like uh, string array, like uh, let's say. So I'm gonna read this uh, this line ten by using console line. Then I'm gonna switch to make it an array because 
it is separated by this space. So I'm going to put and you can you can even put integer if integer array if you want by converting this directly to int but you can do this it's okay so after getting this line into array you can do this then because on our question there it says a is the age of code chip. So each each a is equal to because a is this one, such a one of twenty-five and fifteen, so we can say what so we can say numbers. So this is zero, and this is one, this is two, so I can say two. If you remember, this is a string, so you can integer to pass it two to make it an inch. And int uh, int x is equal to let's copy this one and paste it down here. X is zero, and let me copy this again. Y. Wow. Okay. So y two ray of index of one. So as you remember the condition, so AJMX should be greater than should be greater than X and now why I did this because it doesn't want to go back to template uh, okay I don't wanna do anything I would just want to open this again yeah it's good we are at the same place I wanted to maximize this yes okay If we read carefully, the, the challenge says h should be greater than or equal to x, and it should should be less than y. Okay, with full screen, let's go to full screen. We can put our if condition here. If Okay, if A, which is the age, greater or equal to X, and A is less than Y. Console dot by to find the input. Then uh, input yes, yes. So uh, 
else it's gonna be no. Let me call this one and first year. So this is how it's gonna be very simple. Very simple. Yeah. Yeah. So else it's gonna come. No, no, no. It's gonna. Output, yeah. Okay, so you can test your code by learning compile, run. So it, it's gonna check through your codes and try to execute if it gives back. Okay, so here it said yes, and the second one it said no, uh, and the third one it said yes. And this one, it said no, which is true. And this one, it said yes, which is true. Okay, let's go back and see here. It's the same as this output on the problem, uh, problem explanation. So let's submit. Submit. You just go and click submit code. Okay, you can see that the successful executed time it used some seconds here and memory two is 22 and five. Okay, let's submit. Current running test case two. Oh, that's good. So we have a correct answer. That's good. So this is how to solve it. Total score we score 100. Wow, that's good. So after that, you can see your submissions. So So we submitted like two seconds ago and we used the memory of 22 on the uh, language C sharp and we passed it. And you can see what others have done on this. You can see, you can view all 16,000 of submissions. Okay, 16,000 submissions. Uh, so I use C sharp, other I have used Python and we have just used wow nine MB okay five okay you can view what others have done in Python input wow it's Python Let's see all which have done by C sharp. How much? Oh. Oh, hey, these guys have been trading. My people, my C sharp lovers. Okay, thank you guys. So, this is how you can solve a challenge in Code Chair. Uh, let's end.